change it for any other 125 they are a fantastic little bike um, they handle extremely well they're very light for what they are uh, they look like a bigger bike which is a bonus for if you think it's 17 now I think and they get a massive like, I think it's like 18 miles per gallon around town, just pottering around. And on the motorway, I must have like nearly got 80. Or did I get 80? I don't know. I have to. I put a screenshot in of what I actually got the video before coming here. <laughs> fantastic you know, obviously you know it's a 125 if you don't it's a mini r6 there you go that's, that's how you, you can describe it a mini r6 um, mine obviously isn't stock uh, first thing you notice is the termi system it is a full decat system and you've probably noticed I've got wavy discs from Galfa Yes, Galfa discs. I, I paid the extra because, well, it was like, I think it was like 50 quid extra for an actual decent set of brakes. Uh, next thing you notice, I've got fireflies for at night. I'm not sure if they're legal, but if they are, yay. I've got blue lights going around my wheels. If not, I don't give a shit. Um, next thing, obviously, dual braided brake lines. I can recommend them. I really do recommend them. They just make your braking so much better, especially with the rear, because the rear is just like stepping on a sponge before. Now it's it actually stops you. Front, that's fucking lethal. Next thing, tail tidy. Uh, yeah, I've got an S Moto one. I don't know what the fuck they are, but S Moto, fantastic little thing. Uh, what else? Full alarm system from Hawk, obviously. Uh, I've got HIDs in mine, but they, they're orange like colour, so go for it if you want. Um, I've got the standard bulbs in there for the side lights because my one's died. Uh, they're the the obvious ones that you see, apart from the two part pinky bike. Oh, I've got a slot oiler on there. Yeah, I'm glad I went around this one. Yep. V system's got oiler. Good little thing. I need to really chop that off, don't I? Fantastic. I honestly recommend getting one of them. That is really fucking teeming, isn't it? Love that. Didn't cost me anything. <laughs> Cost me my soul. Yeah. Uh, that is the, the main things that you will see on the bike. I've got a power commander underneath it. So it actually has the power it's meant to have now. Oh my my iPod's battery's low. Oh well. Yeah, I've got a power commander in there with a full uh, remap on it. It's, I can't remember what brake it's running now, but it's a bit livelier than a normal one, because if you just put a full system on, yes it will work, 
you're probably going to have less than two harness toddlers in power because this has got the power of two harness toddlers now. Um, the thing I've noticed from the remap is it is a lot more punctual through the mid-range now. That That is the main thing. It's basically still shit for overtaking but I've got a bit more confidence in doing it. Um, what else can I really say about it? it <laughs> that, is, that is about it. Oh, I've, got, I've probably got an extra couple of miles per gallon. Uh, top end, still the same. It's about 83 to 85, I think. Um, I wish we could have kept on going on the video before, but never mind. Uh, for a first bike, if you want something that's uh, stylish, sounds reasonably good, uh, you, you, for some odd reason you want massive miles per gallon, actually it saves you a bit of money, uh, get one of these. They're great. But if you want speed, don't. Whatever you do, don't get one. Because they're slow as fuck. Even mine is slow as fuck. But, they are great, especially if you get some BT45s on the rear, I've got Sport Demons on the back, some Jing Jong Bing Bong on the front, because that's what it came with. Obviously I'm going to be changing them out for two BT45s, because they were amazing on Yami. Uh, I hope this helps, for if you're trying to look for your first bike. I really do recommend them, they're great. Obviously you don't have to do what I've done with mine, you can get a Scorpion like I did on Yami, you can get an Arrow system, Remus, Leavince, uh, what else is there? There's Delvic, Delvic seems to be one that's cropping up somewhere. You can get a, uh, it's like half a, half a R1 tow system, which will go up the side of your bike instead of under the tail. If you get two, you can probably fake you've got a toast or something. It'd be kind of sad, because you'd need to get two into one circuit and put it down through. Um, yeah, before, like I said, I hope this helps in kind of a cheesy, offbeat review, which I really didn't plan. Um, as usual, if you like what you see, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and if you really want any more random ride outs like I did before, hit the sub button. I seem to be uploading videos quite quickly at the moment. Well, quickly for my internet, it's still potato speed. But yeah, peace out guys, take it easy.